one of the biggest union events in the country, if not in the world. So we wanted to come up here to celebrate that, but also to raise further awareness for the campaign that we have going on at the moment. We are currently on industrial action again. We're midway through 16 days of industrial action. We went back to negotiations for almost three months and we had a pay deal, but they didn't remove the sanction element of that and at the end of the day our point of view is that no one should be penalised for taking industrial action. It's lawful industrial action. A lot of people are disillusioned by what British Airways promised them. They said that if they went into work they would be getting their full bonuses but then their bonuses were only minimal amounts. So we've got a lot more people coming out, a lot more cabin managers are joining us. and said, oh, I hear you're getting a pay rise. Actually, no, we're not. We're expected to work, go from 32 and a half hours to 37 hours with basically a pay freeze. Uh, we can't rise up any increments, really, are we? We're stuck for two years, and what's been put out in the press is that no one will lose money from day one. No, we will all lose money. All of us will end up losing money substantially after two years. I mean, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm one of the ones that supposedly gained... So I basically get to keep my wage as long as I do extra hours. Unfortunately, I can't do any directed extra hours because I've got my son to look after. Um, unfortunately, there's still a lot, a lot of people losing money. And as, as long as there's even one teaching assistant losing money, as far as we're concerned, everybody big loses. Fat. Dave, Prentice. No. Dave Prentice said that there would be no losers in this, and we still have 472 that we still have to fight for. I'm personally losing 1,200, but I keep thinking of the people who are losing over £4,000. 
that's a big life-changing loss. We are teaching assistants. We've now got over 2,000 who must teach weekly to avoid a pay cut. I wonder if parents in County Durham know that they send their children to a school expecting them to be taught by a trained, qualified teacher that the class is actually being taken by teaching assistants for Unison hierarchy to stand up and say a fortnight ago this was all solved and done. Not as far as we're concerned at all. We haven't given our lives up for nearly two years for this. It's diabolical. I cannot but applaud their uh, decision to uh, recommend a no vote to that offer um, because they didn't feel they wanted to leave over 20 odd percent of workers behind. We can't let 2,700 working class women end up with what looks like a very dodgy deal that's unravelling and, and, and it seems like a job that was only half done. The, the more that comes out, the more it undoes people's faith, trust and confidence in trade unions to be able to negotiate. A unison rep went into a school and told the teaching assistants in that school, forget solidarity, I mean really, forget solidarity and think of yourself. We don't think I said that person needs to go back to union school and find out what the term unison and union mean, which is together and that's what we're doing, we're staying together. I'm in the construction industry, there's a lot of national support and they're, they're, they're willing to support these fa fantastic teaching assistants who are, in my opinion, undervalued. Uh, we're going to keep carrying on. If, 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 if they need us, we're going to be there in 100% support. If they'd consulted with the teaching assistants, consulted with the head teachers, come up with some scenarios which explained how, say, teaching assistants might be affected, depending on whether we're moving up a grade, down a grade, then those concerns that we have would have been sorted before this was actually published. And scenarios that we could have negotiated on. We could have done, This hasn't yes. been negotiated on. Because we weren't party to it, we were told. I've been really, really involved in the campaign. I've been, you know, I've been supportive of the TAs from the start. And if they decide then that this isn't a satisfactory deal for them, then I'm f you know, fully behind them all over again and we go out and we campaign again. I'm in Chory Borough of Barnet and the unions have not only take part in the appeals, they have the job evaluation scores and workers do have the right to appeal. I'm doing appeals for school staff as I speak but here in the Labour Party in the Labour Council these women are being told that they can't appeal the grades something is wrong and it needs sorting and it needs sorting properly we didn't come into this to lose we came into it to stay to stay to sustain we just wanted to stay. what we had we wanted what we had we didn't ask for a penny more we certainly didn't ask for a penny less and we marched last year to raise awareness of this and yet again we're back here yes we wanted a match wanted a match to say we're here to say thanks to people and to honor davy hopper's memory but we're still marching because as far as we're concerned our dispute isn't whatever you read in the press our dispute is not resolved it's not finished.